Ramesh Chunder Dutt Bengali Ramasakhandra Datta the 13th of August 1848 to the 30th of November 1909 was an Indian civil servant economic historian writer and translator of Ramayana and Mahabharata Topic <laughs> Early life and education Dutt was born into a distinguished Bengali Kayastha family well known for its members' literary and academic achievements. His parents were Thakamani and Isam Chunder Dutt, a deputy collector in Bengal, whom Romesh often accompanied on official duties. He was educated in various Bengali district schools, then at Hare School, Calcutta. After his father's untimely death in a boat accident in eastern Bengal, his uncle, Shoshi Chunder Dutt, an accomplished writer, became his guardian in 1861. He commenting on his uncle, wrote, He used to sit at night with us and our favorite study used to be pieces from the works of the English poets. He was a relative of Toru Dutt, one of 19th century Bengal's most prominent poets. He entered the University of Calcutta, Presidency College in 1864. He passed the first arts examination in 1866, ranking second in order of merit and won a scholarship. While still a student in the BA class, without his family's permission, he and two other friends, Bihari Lal Gupta and Surendranath Banerjee, left for England in 1868. At that time, only one other Indian, Satendra Nath Tagore, had qualified for the Indian civil service. Dutt aimed to emulate Tagore's feat. For a long time, before and after 1853, the year the ICS examination was introduced in England, only British officers were appointed to covenanted posts. At University College London, Dutt continued to study British writers. He qualified for the Indian Civil Service in the Open Examination in 1869, taking third place. He was called to the bar by the Honourable Society of the Middle Temple on 6 June 1871. Career Civil service Pre-retirement He entered the Indian civil service as an assistant magistrate of Alipur in 1871. A famine in Merpur, district of Nadia in 1874 and another in Dakin Shabazpur Bola district in 1876, followed by a disastrous cyclone, required emergency relief and economic recovery operations, which Dutt managed successfully. He served as administrator for Bakarganj, Mimesing, Burdwan, Donapur, and Midnapur. He became Birdwin's district officer in 1893, commissioner OFFTG of Birdwin division in 1894, and divisional commissioner OFFTG for Orissa in 1895. Dutt was the first Indian to attain the rank of divisional commissioner. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Post-retirement. Dutt retired from the ICS in 1897. In 1898 he returned to England as a lecturer in Indian history at University College, London where he completed his famous thesis on economic nationalism. He returned to India as Dewan of Baroda State, a post he had been offered before he left for Britain. He was extremely popular in Baroda where the Maharaja, Maharaja Sayajirao Gaekwad III and his family members and all other staff members used to call him the Babu Dewan, as a mark of personal respect. In 1907, he also became a member of the Royal Commission on Indian Decentralization. Topic: Politics. He was president of the Indian National Congress in 1899. He was also a member of the Bengal Legislative Council. Topic: Academics. Topic literature He served as the first president of Bangya Sahitya Parishad Bengali, Bangya Sahitya Parisada in 1894, while Rabindranath Tagore and Navinchandra Sen were the vice presidents of the society. His The Literature of Bengal presented a connected story of literary and intellectual progress in Bengal over eight centuries, commencing with the early Sanskrit poetry of Jayadeva. 
It traced Chaitanya's religious reforms of the 16th century, Raghunatha Siramani's school of formal logic, and Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar's brilliance, coming down to the intellectual progress of the 19th century. This was presented by Thacker, Spink and Co., in Calcutta and Archibald Constable in London in 1895, but it had formed earlier in Dutt's mind while he managed famine relief and economic recovery operations in Dakin Shabazpur. It had appeared originally under the disguise of an assumed name in 1877. It was dedicated to his esteemed uncle, Rai Shushi Chandra Dutt Bahadur. History He was a major economic historian of India of the 19th century. His thesis on deindustrialization of India remains forceful argument in Indian historiography. To quote him, India in the 18th century was a great manufacturing as well as great agricultural country, and the products of the Indian loom supplied the markets of Asia and of Europe. It is, unfortunately, true that the East Indian Company and the British Parliament, discouraged Indian manufacturers in the early years of British rule in order to encourage the rising manufacturers of England, millions of Indian artisans lost their earnings, the population of India lost one great source of their wealth. He also directed attention to the deepening internal differentiation of Indian society appearing in the abrupt articulation of local economies with the world market, accelerated urban-rural polarization, the division between intellectual and manual labour, and the toll of recurrent devastating famines. Awards Companionship of the Indian Empire, 1892 Death While still in office, he died in Baroda at the age of 61 on 30 November 1909 works topic see also bengal renaissance economic history of india indian national congress